Hey, what's up, YouTube? The day is finally here. Ian Beer has released not one, but two kernel level exploits for iOS 11.3.1, and Coolstar is already hard at work updating Electra for a public jailbreak utility release for iOS 11.3.1. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about these exploits that were just released by Beer and when we can expect a full iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak to be released to the public. So I wanted to start today's video off by announcing that an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak is right around the corner from being released, and like Tanner's video highlighted earlier today, Ian Beer has released not one but two kernel level exploits, and that Coolstar is already hard at work updating the Electra jailbreak. He in fact has already received TPF0, meaning he has managed to get Ian Beer's exploit working in less than 24 hours after its release. Now just as a preface to this video, I just wanted to say a few things so that everyone is aware. Now Coolstar will undoubtedly be releasing a developer jailbreak here soon enough, and if this version somehow manages to get leaked again, I just wanted to advise everyone to avoid this release and absolutely wait for Coolstar's final public release of this jailbreak utility. Now this initial developer jailbreak would just be a beta jailbreak, it will most certainly contain bugs and be dangerous for those who aren't developers if you went to install it, and the last thing you would want to do is to be forced into restore and lose out on your opportunity to jailbreak. And speaking of restoring, as of recording this video, iOS 11.3.1 is still being signed today, and this could very well be your last chance to restore to the software before Apple closes the signing window. With an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak pretty much confirmed at this point, I'm not sure why anyone would wait on a different software firmware if they're intending on jailbreaking. Now I would not waste this opportunity as this will almost certainly be the last iOS 11 jailbreak before iOS 12 is released to the public, so definitely upgrade or downgrade now while the signing window is still open. Anyway, it's very exciting times for those of us in the jailbreak community. A new jailbreak is on the way, coming very soon, but while we wait, I just wanted to update everyone thoroughly. So just about a week ago, Ian Beer tweeted out this. He stated, if you're interested in bootstrapping iOS kernel security research, keep a research-only device on iOS 11.3.1 for more TPF0, release probably next week. Now, Ian Beer, for those of you who don't know, is from Google's Project Zero, and is well known for releasing an iOS 11.1.2 exploit, which eventually led to the Electra jailbreak for iOS 11. So initially, way back when, let me see if I can find it, it shouldn't be too hard to find, yes, right about here. He tweeted out, if you're interested in bootstrapping iOS 11 kernel security research, keep a research-only device on 11.1.2. And then just a few weeks later, he tweeted out the actual kernel exploit. So that is why once this information was tweeted out, what I showed you guys earlier in this video, pretty much the same exact tweet, this time for iOS 11.3.1. This is when the hype began to rise about an iOS 11.3.1 public jailbreak for all devices. So now this brings me back to Coolstar. At this point in time, right after Ian Beer released this information, he notified the community that he did not have any test devices that had an A10 or A11 processor in them, so device support may be limited if he ever did update the jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1. So this is when the community came together and managed to raise enough money for not only one but two test devices, one being an iPad 10.5 inch and the other being an iPhone 10 for Coolstar to use to test and develop his iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak, and he's pretty much confirmed at this point, because of these donations, he will be updating his Electra jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1, and will be including support for as many devices as possible. So with all this in place, once he had his two test devices running iOS 11.3.1, that brings us to last evening. So the day is finally here. This is when Ian Beer gave us this information. He says, iOS 11.4 patched kernel memory corruption bugs I reported in two distinct areas, MPTCP and VFS. My exploit for MPTCP bug is here, and he links directly to the project files. So if I just go ahead and check that out, let's see exactly what he released. Um, it's pretty much the same write-up we've seen before. Uh, there is the project file right there, and the readme file is somewhere probably in here. Unfortunately, this very first bug, the MPTCP one that he released, will require a developer account to compile and install, so we'll have to wait and see exactly how this turns out. 
for an end user. Hopefully we will not need a developer account in order to install this jailbreak. I honestly could not imagine that being the case, but I will bring you guys updates as soon as I have them. Anyway, that was the first tweet that Ian Beer tweeted out. As you guys can see, he pretty much follows this up with saying, this is the same bug that's already publicly documented from the patch by these users right here. As you guys might have noticed on the jailbreak subreddit, John Akerblom tweeted out early last week about an iOS 11.3.1 exploit. Well, here it is. It is part of Ian Beer's work, which he released today. Again, he released not only one, but two exploits. This is the first one. The second one being the VFS. So Ian Beer followed up further, announcing information about his VFS bug. He says this one doesn't require an Apple developer certificate, meaning you don't need an Apple developer account, but it is considerably harder to exploit. So the main difference between the two exploits essentially is one will require a developer account to use and the other will not. And there is some good news and some bad news. The VFS one, according to Beer, won't require an Apple developer certification, but it is significantly harder to exploit, meaning it sounds like it's less reliable or much harder to work with. Either the case, that being said, I don't expect this to be a huge obstacle for Coolstar to get past. Like I said, I cannot see the final release of this jailbreak requiring a paid developer account. But regardless, Coolstar has already given us updates that he is at work on updating Electra for iOS 11.3.1. He has updated all his devices to 11.3.1 before this was released, like I said, and then later into the evening, he tweeted out these updates. He has released an exploit for MPTCP that requires a developer account and a bug that requires an exploit to be written for it. This one, however, doesn't require a developer account. He states he'll try to get hold of a developer account to get started. And actually, this is great news. Another member of the community has given Coolstar this developer account. So Coolstar now is already on his way to testing out this first exploit. He follows up by saying, got all the pieces collected. Now the work begins. Time to create a developer 11.3.1 jailbreak for those who have developer accounts. Again, like I stated at the beginning of this video, now that Coolstar is working on a developer jailbreak, this does not mean to go ahead and go download it. Again, this is going to be only for developers. You'll need a developer account. It can be very buggy and it can force you into restore as it's very dangerous to install if you're not a developer and you don't know what you're doing. So do not go looking for this download right now. Again, Coolstar follows up saying a common misconception floating around is that a developer account is only needed to compile it, meaning it's only needed to compile the IPA for the jailbreak. He says this is false. A developer account is required to both compile it and install it. Now, he very quickly follows this up with a second tweet. He says, that being said, I do not recommend going out and buying a developer account just yet. Stand by. Updates will be posted and ready when appropriate. So like I said, guys, I really don't see the final public release of this jailbreak utility requiring a developer account. I've never seen that in the past, and there has to be some way that Coolstar can get around this in order to make it applicable to the general public, all the people that don't have a developer account that's paid for. In any sense, I will bring you guys updates as well as soon as I hear from the source directly. Anyway, guys, again, the last major development that I wanted to share with you guys, again, I showed you this at the beginning of the video, is that Coolstar has actually got TFP0 fully running on his iPad, meaning he's already got Ian Beer's exploit successfully run on his device. So he says, let the fun begin. At this point in time, it's really hard to speculate when this jailbreak is going to be released to the public. Of course, we have to go through beta and developer jailbreak testing first before the public would ever receive this end user jailbreak utility. All the bugs and kinks have to be worked out first. But considering that Coolstar has already updated Cydia and its dependencies to run on iOS 11, the post exploitation process is pretty much already done. I don't see it being too hard for Coolstar to update Cydia once he has Cydia installed, once he gets Ian Beer's exploit to successfully install Cydia, that seems like that is going to be the hardest part. Of course, we have the obstacle of getting past the developer account certificate requirement, but once that is achieved, I could very easily see a public iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak utility being released here within the next couple of weeks. But again, I don't see it taking very long for Coolstar to do this process. It's probably not going to be in just a couple of hours or a couple of days, but it's definitely not going to be months away. We have the exploits available and Coolstar is already hard at work updating the Electra jailbreak for iOS 11.3.1. Again, the developer jailbreak has yet to be released, but when it does, I would highly advise to not go looking for it and definitely do not install it on your device. Just wait for a public jailbreak utility release. 
Again, on those lines, other sources on Twitter have released updates to their tweak utilities and that they run on iOS 11 to 11.3.1 now. Again, since this jailbreak is pretty much right around the corner, I would not go around installing any of those other utilities for now as it could jeopardize the stability of your jailbreak once it is released to the public. Again, the signing window for 11.3.1 is so open today, so definitely get to this firmware. It is the most updated firmware that you can be on that the exploit will work for. Now, as far as compatibility goes, some users on Twitter have suggested that Ian Beer's exploit that he released will work on all iterations of iOS 11 to 11.3.1. But that being said, it's really up to Coolstar on if his jailbreak is going to include support for all devices and all firmwares of iOS 11. Granted, the community has funded him two new devices to work with, so we will just have to wait and see as far as compatibility goes to see which devices are ultimately supported. But it now, again, I really don't have a confirmed ETA, and I don't have a confirmed compatibility list, unfortunately, for you guys. I wish I knew more and could give you guys more concrete information along that lines. But what I can say for certain is that the iOS 11.3.1 signing window is still open. We know the jailbreak and the exploit works for this firmware. So if you want to be safe, then sorry, I would recommend just getting to this firmware immediately. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my jailbreak update video today. If you guys like this, let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. It took quite a while to compile, and I just wanted to kind of tell a story of how this jailbreak came to life for all those who have missed it. Anyway guys, if you really enjoyed this video and want to see more updates pertaining to the public iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak, don't forget to subscribe. And in the end, thank you so much for watching today's video. It was really fun discussing this. I am so excited for an iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak. Let me know down in the comments section if you guys are as well. And I'm also curious, what firmware are you guys currently running? Are you holding out on a lower version of iOS or are you updating to iOS 11.3.1? Anyway guys, thank you again so much for watching and for the continued support. But until next time, this is Tony, signing out.